Hey guys, it's me Astrid and um, I wanted to go ahead and do my May Catacetum update for you guys. Um, I keep shifting it a little earlier in the month, like five days each time, so it's like slightly less than a month's progress in each video, but I'm just like so eager to show you some of the growth on these. It's really amazing. Um, but before we get started, I just wanted to thank so many of you guys for going and liking my Facebook page and all that. I I'm like, thank you. You guys are the sweetest and I really appreciate it. And if you don't know, I do have a Facebook page and I'll put some info down there if you want to follow me on other social media. Now, to get started with the catacetums, uh, in no particular order, let's just go ahead and start. So here we've got the Catacetum Expansum and it's the variation Myra Cross Linda. This one, I mean, its growth is nice and big and tall and it's getting fatter um, and the roots aren't really visibly traveling down in the pot except like here. Um, but nothing really amazing to say except that I'm quite impressed with how much Catacetum bulbs plump up. You can see this bulb was watered and I had it tied here and it actually like got a dent in it from the twisty tie holding it in place because the bulbs plump up substantially when you water them. And this is going to be the theme throughout the video but I do want to show you the progress on each one so you guys can you know keep track of them and I want to compile it eventually. So this is Mormodia Leopard Drop SVO cross Catacetum Expansum Linda. And this one is amazingly fattening when I water it. This bulb shriveled slightly and then when I watered it you can see it uh, definitely has a little, a little bulge there holding it in place and I loosened this bottom one so I wouldn't cut off the water supply to this pseudo bulb. It's really nice and plump. It's starting to leaf out and it's getting some nice roots going down the pot. Most of the catacetums I have have roots going down the pot now. This is the Fred Clark Yara After Dark. SVO Black Pearl. This one's from Ian and it's doing just wonderfully, although it's not growing quite as vigorously as some of my other catacetums. And you can see here I'm kind of trying to train the growth to come a little bit upright with these twisty ties. I'm just doing it gently and I just don't want the growth to spread out so much that they're all over the place and then it's difficult to store these orchids all next to each other. Um, this one's roots are growing in a little bit slowly, but still going down the side of the pot and um, the growth is coming along very nicely. You can see these big, big old leaves. Next we've got the Catacetum Dream Boat, and that's going to be Penang crossed with Chuck Taylor. And this is another one from Ian. Ian sends me great orchids. This one I posted on my Facebook page about the root tips because they're just massively growing like this this growth happened in the last few days just poof so um, it's doing really well and it's also doing this bizarre thing where um, the entire bottom of the growth has just burst out with the roots like an alien being burst from someone's chest or something it's really like the gr the pseudobulb started like I don't know almost an inch lower but the entire bottom has become a mass of roots, which is um, fascinating and also rather disturbing. So this is the uh, Catacetum Dream Boat. Um, next we have one of our little guys, Mormodia Jumbo World. This uh, one bloomed for me and I have a spike development video of this orchid. Um, it's, oh, it's wonderful. The blooms are beautiful and I love this orchid so much. Um, they're pink and they smell like carrots and potpourri and it's so... But this, this back bulb is nice and plump, it's doing well, and um, the roots are growing out again. Kind of you can see them going down the pot on the sides, but yes, Mormodia Jumbo World, this is where it's at. Um, the next one... Eh. I have these all arranged in a certain way. This is Catacetum Brint's Black Hawk. That's the one I compared to the Pokemon Pump Kaboo. I hope mine blooms in such a wonderful way. This one has a lot of roots that are kind of sneaking down the pot, but they're harder to see. Um, and it's been sort of the back bulb has been shriveling, so I decided to go ahead and water it. 
Um, it seems like it's not rotting, although it isn't really leafed out, and I just... It's a fine balance when you start watering catacetums, um, as I'm learning, because this is my first year growing them, how much to water them or not, so I just wait for roots to kind of be down here in the pot, and then I start giving them full water. This is Catacetum Brent's Black Hawk. Um, next we have the Cycnodes Wine Delight. No introduction needed on this girl, but look at how big the leaves are. This is just massive and there's so many leaves and they're just, I mean, they're just so nice. Like, look at this. Mm -hmm. um, the, the Pseudobulb has been fattening a lot um, and I don't know when it's going to go into spike, but you can see how plump this is getting here and then the top of the pseudobulb feels like it's about here so it's got a ways to grow to get to this size but i have every faith in it that it will grow hugely and do very well um, and the roots have been going down the pot i mean look at these roots these have grown in a couple months you see this and some of them have actually just about reached the bottom um, but not quite now, I called Fred Clark and I asked him, you know, this one's drinking up water like overnight when I water it. He said to leave them dry for at least a day between waterings, so um, so not to overwater them. And that's the uh, Cycnodes Wine Delight. And we've got four more to go, so. <laughs> this is um, Cycnodes Varscovicii Jumbo Mutation Cross Marmodes Andrite SVO. I hope you can read that. Um, this one, roots roots are going down the pot. Nice fat roots. And it's just starting to leaf out and the bulbs are staying nice and plump back here. Uh, once they put roots out, I find that the back bulbs have been plumping back up from being somewhat shriveled, which is uh, really nice and also impressive. So that's this guy. Then um, we have my Galliandra Batemanii. If you'll ever see the tag, I'll write these down below as well. Um, one of the back bulbs broke off, so I've just set it in the pot, and I'm gonna see if maybe it will put out a growth somewhere. It's either gonna put out a growth or it's gonna shrivel up and rot, and we'll see. Um, this one is so small, and its roots are so little that I have been just spritzing these with a little bit of water every day because the back bulb is so teeny and it's not connected to anything else. But this delicate little growth has been coming along just wonderfully and um, it's slowly starting to put down roots so I hope that it will grow nicely. Also it was kind of growing to the side so I just decided to take this twisty tie and I kind of hooked it like the letter J and that's so it has flexibility but it's also steering the plant to grow one certain way. We have mine that's in the worst condition which is um, this is Clausia Rebecca Northern Grapefruit Pink Cross Marmodes Revolutum SVO Yellow. This one bloomed for me in the winter time and it was just beautiful. But it's put out this new growth rather slowly and its back bulbs are very shriveled. So I've been spritzing the roots a little bit in the hopes that it will take up some water and get some momentum going and put some roots down. Um, but it's just so, it's such a beautiful bloom, and I really love this cross, and I would be sad to lose it, but hopefully it has enough energy in these back bulbs. I'm crossing my fingers, but it, this one's looking very, rather poorly compared to all the other catacetums I have. Um, and I think this was named for someone in my orchid society, Susan Wilson, so I think this is now Claumodes Cl or something. Um, Clomodes Susan Wilson, I think, is what this is registered as now. And finally, a glorious finish. This is the um, Clausia Pierre Coré Flamingo Spots. I got this orchid from Fred Clark. I was like, I need that plant. It is so beautiful. What do you want for it? Give me that plant. Because the flowers are pink and flamboyant and amazing. Um, and this one is just this big healthy plant. It had all these five bulbs when it was given to me and now it's put out this entire new growth in about a month or two and it's huge look at this these leaves just keep getting 
bigger and bigger and this is this is the reason I was really eager to show you an update on these guys because this growth is I don't have words it's so big and so wonderful and that's the reason that I love to grow I'm starting to really love catacetums is that when they do grow they are fast and when they don't grow you can ignore them for several months they're really really wonderful um, Essentially all of these except the Galliandra came from Sunset Valley Orchids and they're all really cool crosses. I'm so excited to grow them. And thank you so much for watching this update. I can't wait to show you flowers and stuff. Um, yeah. And I hope this has given you some perspective on, you know, how many different stages of growth all your different Catacetinae type orchids can be in. How differently they develop and um, what to expect. I hope this gives you a good perspective. Anyway, um, say bye, Pierre Couré. Bye, guys! <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Happy growing. Bye-bye.